Um, this is Chief of Pops and Pastor. This is the first day of the Feast of Trumpet. Uh, we're uh, preparing for our march now to, uh, for the pre-dedication services at 866 Georgetown Street. There's only a slab there, but the saints are ready to go. As you can see in the background, many of them with their umbrellas, they are ready. The motorcade is already gone. At this time, we're getting ready to start walking to the new site at 866 Georgetown. This is Sir Jonathan Johnson, your reporter. Well, there you have it. There's the Bishop F.C. Scott and Bishop James Embry. We're right here at Georgetown Place and Georgetown Street at the corner. The House of God is marching. Coming through the intersection of Air Street and Georgetown Street. Come and go with me to my father's house. Open it up, open it up so we can see it. Hold on, give me a Somebody help her to hold it. Hey, come on, John. Get it right, just move it in, get it on the end so you can see it. Great. How's God does it feel? Great. All right. You see it, you got it? Bishop Scott there. Under, under, under. Yes. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold it up. Hold it up so we can see it. House of God, who? Music department. Music department. President St. Julia Mapson. Elect Lady Julia Mapson. Crazy. That's Bishop Pyan. Great gathering. Lady Embry. All right, all right, y'all should open up them signs and that's what we can see them. Junior Bishop. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, y'all gonna open it up? All the blue lights way in the back. Committee. I spill some in the back, isn't it? Yeah. Aisha. Aisha. 
Let Britney's face down. Get it down there real good. Some things are just now getting here with the umbrellas down. You gotta raise your umbrellas up. Lady Highland in there. That's Lady Embry. Going over there to read, lady. Uh, uh, read? No, not that I know. <laughs> it's Lady Rollins. Has anybody seen Bishop Robert King? He's back. Oh, he should have been where I could find you. you will understand that in spite of those things that may appear to be inconvenient for us, all things work together for the good for them that love the Lord and is the call according to his purposes. I want to thank you for the many efforts that you put forward to be present a little late, but it's better to be a little late than too late. So bear with me for the few minutes. The slab is rather oily. You'll have to be very careful in making your steps so that you will not slip and fall. Almost everything we do is put on the spotlight. Maybe for some for criticism, but there are those who share our goodwill. 
and we are grateful to God for them. We wish to express our appreciation to the armed services that has provided us with some display of concern. So we will only be here a few minutes. Cut the volume down. Is Bishop Scott anywhere close by? Where is he? Bishop J. E. Embry of Atlanta, Georgia. Most gracious and righteous Father, it is of the utmost thanks that we come to you this morning and for the occasion in which we gather ourselves here. Father, we see the culminating of efforts that have been put a half of a century. And oh God, we praise you this morning because you and you only deserve the glory. We thank you for how many years ago, just a few blocks away, you caused us to walk from that place to Newtown Pike. And God, you brought us from Newtown Pike to Whitney Avenue you brought us from Whitney to Ash Street. You brought us back on the main thoroughfare. And oh God, today we see the completion of the cycle. We thank you for this man of God, whom you have given a vision. And we thank you today for how you have consummated that covenant between you, him, and us. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. From the General Assembly in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We passed this spot of ground 
with the very keen observances of it, for some cause or the other, we were made to realize that someday this property would be available for sale. It passed from our mind. We had no thought when that time would take place. And just about five years ago, we went to our upper room and was listening to the news. And on the news, it was announced that Julius Marks would be for sale. And immediately, I attempted to call the mayor's office. He was not available. But early the next morning, we made direct contact with Mayor Basler's office and made a proposal to him for the purchase of Julius Marks sanatorium property. And he gave me his word that Bishop Rawlins, no one, has addressed this subject but you. And I promise you that I shall do everything in my power to see to it that you will have the last, the first and last refusal to buy this property. And so it was. We started on that projection and did not cease until we procured the funds to buy this property. At that time, it was made known that the value of the property was worth something like $700,000, which was a lot of money for poor folks like us. But the Lord let me know that he would provide the means all right, all right. by the prophecy of the Bishop Brian Mosley of the state of New Jersey. And sure enough, he did provide the finances to buy this property. And I'm so grateful to God for that. And I know you are likewise. So, we would read scriptures and maybe talk much more, but we will not take up the time and expose you to undo weather circumstances. And we shall proceed further with the dedicus, dedicatorial process. We're not even going to walk on the ground for the presence of God is everywhere. All right. We do not have to search for him. He's here and there and everywhere. And let me express my deep thanks and appreciation to each and every one of you for exposing yourselves for this time and occasion. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We glorify your name, for your name is worthy to be praised. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Though this may be our last public exposure, on behalf of your church, but you said if you tarry long, that you may know, and that we may know, how that we ought to behave ourselves in the house of God. Yeah. Always putting you first, and being not afraid to adapt ourselves to the principles of your righteousness. For your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Yes. And your law Hallelujah. is the truth. We make the first gesture of dedication toward that spot, followed by the Bishop, F.C. Scott, our sister, and then by the Bishop, 
our divisional superintendent of the Midwest Division. This dedication gesture we make now on your behalf and to God's glory. In Jesus' name. we dedicate this lab and this property. Jesus name. Bishop Embry, would you share? And in the name of the Holy Father of Israel, we do thanks and glorify you in your name. The Lady S.P. Rollins, who has stood by me throughout all of these 56 years of better. Where is she? In the name of the Lord Jesus. In your name, Jesus. Amen. I thought it was rather late in my years to be doing what we were doing. And the first assistant chief apostle, Bishop William Benson, pastor of the church of Detroit, Michigan. He had passed before we came to this hour. And I was talking to his widow and I said to her, I said, you know, it's rather late for us to be embarking upon such an enterprise. It is late. But she said, Bishop, we can do it. We can do it if we try. So I expect each of you to put your shoulders to the wheel and begin with this year and for the next five years or less to continue to contribute the funds that's needed to pay off this debt. Let me thank First Security for sharing with us in this responsibility and all of you that is being blessed. The Lord is blessing you so I ask you to put your concerns and your efforts on the back burner until this project is now complete. So let me have Sister Denson, Lady Rollins, do it once more. To God be the glory. To God. Be the glory. Now, Paul, this. Oh, bless his heart. This is the man that made the prediction and the prophecy that God would provide for me. And he didn't know I needed the money at that time. This man, I don't know to what extent his relationship shall continue, but it certainly started on a bright path. And thank God for you, Bishop Mosley. Praise the Lord, everyone. And we're grateful for this milestone. We thank God for the Chief Apostle. We thank God for this day and for this glorious occasion, we're here because the Almighty has ordained it. And there's a blessing in the rain. And we're so grateful. And may the eternal, ever 
continue to bless. We're going forward from here on. I'm so glad you got here in time. God bless you all. Upon this benediction, we ask you to board your vehicles. Oh, just a moment. I'm going to sit down. Yes. And then whatever you proceed to do further, I should see. Now we have the presentation of colors. Will you prepare yourself for the presentation of colors? You're in the path of the TV camera. Watch, babe.
Everybody wave their flags.
We're here and the motorcade is beginning to uh, line up. People are lining up, as you can see over there. Uh, Chief Fossil will be the lead car. The assistant chief is the second lead car, the elect Lady Rollins. Her car is going to the in the background. The police are across the street here, getting ready to direct the traffic. But we're out here, we're getting ready to go now to the uh, general convocation. Uh, place where we're having the church at the 71st General Convocation. Um, we are reporting live with you from the House of God, 866 Georgetown Street, the site of our new temple. As you can see over there, the platforms, uh, the concrete is down. Next week, the steel will be going up. We'll get shots from time to time on the progress of the House of God. And the House of God is leaving now. Look at that, now, now look at it, look at it way back there. That's Metro Police. Leading the group out. The Chief Apostles car. Dr. S.P. Rollins. To Fred Scott. Lady Rollins. bring the keys. Car lock. Turn your lights on, Jeff. Light, 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 light. of the 71st General and